Demon Souls. Fuck this game. All right, strap in, strap in, buckle in. This is a this is a fucking rant. Souls fans, I'd like to hear your counterpoints here. Really, I, I'll keep an open mind because I'll say it right fucking now. I'll say it. I'll come right out and say it. This game pissed me off. And I'll say this too. God, if anyone watches this, I'm gonna get so much shit, but I don't think Demon's Souls really earned said off that it pissed. I think this game did everything in its power to take any semblance of predictability, fucking fairness, and fucking fun, and rip it out of my fucking hands. So much of this game isn't frustrating because it's hard. It's not like, fuck me, dude, this is so tough. I can't believe I have to do this and this and this and yada, yada, yada. It's frustrating because it treats challenge the same way that a fucking Mario Party minigame does. Yeah. It's trial and error, plain and simple, which isn't inherently bad. I totally get the value of clashing with a game's level design and combat until you've mastered what's there. A lot of my favorite games demand this of the player. Now I have mastered them and I love them even more because of that initial brutal challenge. But those games don't have so many fucking gambles. So many little inconveniences. So many what the fucks. How can I adapt and understand a problem that's not actually presented to me in any perceptible way except in online guides? When a puzzle boss's behaviors are seemingly random, how am I supposed to react? With a leap of faith? When a boss drains one of my stats permanently, an ability that had never even been implied to be possible and makes me fat roll, thus losing me the fight, whose fault is that? How can I be blamed for losing to something that's impossible to predict? What if a boss is especially weak to something I don't have, like magic or projectiles? How am I supposed to enjoy a challenge when I'm not allowed to adapt and change my loadout, as I've built my character differently than the game is currently demanding? When the answer to that question is go spend hours repeatedly fighting the same five enemies to grind experience, or use these specific game-breaking tactics to cheat the boss for an easy win, something is fundamentally wrong. All of you hardcore Souls fans, you, you get gooders. You, I mean, you're fucking right. Clearly because I beat Demon Souls, I was able to get good by your definition. Despite everything that the game tried, I was able to piece together each environment, to, to, to learn each boss's tactics, to grind out healing items and experience points. Now, now tell me, how am I supposed to get good at fucking this? I don't fucking get good at it. It's waiting. It's nothing. Half of the challenge Demon's Souls provides doesn't stem from the bosses actually testing the player's skill, but from the game's design mentality and execution mixing like fucking oil and water. It wants to be a trial and error game. It wants me to fight these bosses over and over, mastering their tells and attacks, but it doesn't allow me to. Instead, each time I want to try my hand at one of these insanely demanding bosses, I have to, I have to fucking wait. Whether it be on an elevator for 20 seconds or clashing with slow enemies, these runbacks are essentially the same. A playable, disgustingly long loading screen. How do people shit all over the launch stars in Mario Galaxy, the cinematic transitions in games like The Last of Us, for making the player wait a few seconds while the Souls games get a complete pass despite doing the same shit times fucking 50? Again, this is hard, this is nothing. Whenever I beat a boss in Demon's Souls, I wasn't like, oh, fuck yeah, I did it, I, I mastered what I thought impossible. I was fucking relieved that my dice had come up snake eyes this time. That I didn't have to go grind for an hour, or hunt down a few pieces of hidden equipment, or, or fucking walk anymore. So often people confuse challenge with exhaustion. Demon's Souls is hard, yes, but it's also taxing. I don't feel like I know the game that much better than when I first started it. I don't think I'd be that much more efficient at playing if I jumped back in because deep down it doesn't feel like I earned those end credits. It feels like I pulled victory from the jaws of defeat, like I, like I drew the ace of spades, like I'm the fucking king of waiting on goddamn elevators. Demon's Souls isn't a test of the player's skill, it's a test of their patience, their threshold for anger, a repeatedly and purposefully unfair slot machine that I'll henceforth avoid like a dealer with loaded fucking dice. Man, it sure looks pretty though now, don't it?